is the installation of the Colight 6.5 inch round lights. They're really nice. <coughs> Went ahead and installed them with the um, use of my Ox Beam 6 game panel. So it's really, really nice setup, super clean. I'll go ahead and do some adjustment. <coughs> I haven't fully adjusted the tilt angle yet because I haven't adjusted them yet. So we'll go ahead and wait till nighttime. Adjust them real quick, lock them in, and then I'll show you guys what they look like during the nighttime. <coughs> they look really good, really nice. They're a little bit smaller than my Prime Lux, but I like the fact that these are a little bit smaller. They match the vehicle and they look much better on the vehicle. And even though the Prime Lux, they have that red lens or it's color red instead of black. I thought the red was nice, but I actually like the black more. So having a black um, housing looks a little bit more better. It's a bit more subtle in my opinion. So it looks really good. <coughs> the mounting bracket's nice. I, uh, it has option uh, three. It has the option of putting three bolts, but I only went ahead and put one, the one in the center. <coughs> you can see I also put the rubber insulation. It also produces a little bit of heat, so that's good for us Alaskans. That um, once it produces heat, ice and snow can't build up onto it. Really nice, slim profile. These do come with the option of <coughs> the driving lights, the white and amber. I decided to not hook them up because I don't like that feature. I don't want that feature. So I went ahead and just kept it on a simple, um, simple line switch. So very easy, just press on and off and that's pretty much all you get. So let's go ahead and roll into the nightfall and show you guys what they look like at nighttime. It's night and chilly in Anchorage, Alaska. Very, very cold. <coughs> we have the 6.5 inch Colite on. I think they're just as bright as my old Prime Lux. I like them. I think they're going to be here to stay. They're really nice. Keep your eyes closed or else you might get blind. Check that out, guys. I'm just going to walk right in front of it. And then take a look down this road here. This is a completely dark road besides that lamp right there. Look at that. Amazing. Pretty good view from here all the way to those reflector uh, signs. I would say maybe that's a good 100 yards. So that's what we need. We need to be able to see um, far away and on the side when there's any moves in Alaska, any nighttime driving, stuff like that. And I think these things are amazing. Let me go ahead and turn off the halogens. My low beams, you my low beams making it look yellow. <coughs> All right, low beams off. <clears throat> they look good. I like it. We'll go ahead and see how long they last. We'll see how water resistant they are. <clears throat> put them through some winter storm. Put them through some crazy weather. But man, they look good, honestly. I like the, as far as appearance look, appearance, the way it looks, these look way better than <clears throat> the Prime Lux. <clears throat> you guys watch my other videos, my uh, opening video of my first impression. I told you guys that they feel better. As far as quality and built, I think they are way more overbuilt, better than the other ones. And um, they are nice. I think the Prime Lux is a little bit brighter, but this one it will do just as fine. I think it's gonna provide enough light for what I need it for. They look good, they look sharp. We can see a good way. I like the, I like the fact that it kind of floods out, but then it also um, it's also very spotty in the middle, so you can adjust it. I did went ahead and adjust it already. So let me go ahead and hop in the vehicle and show you guys a quick POV of what it looks like when you're driving. This is what the road looks like right now. <coughs> in reality, it's actually a little bit more darker. The camera is bumping up the <coughs> um, the exposure. We'll go ahead and turn on the lights, the co lights. So that's what they look like. Very nice, very good looking. <coughs> let me turn on my low beams so you guys can see the difference. You can see the low beams, kind of yellow. It's kind of yellowish. And again, I usually run LED headlights or bulbs for my regular lights, but the LEDs weren't de-icing or, or they weren't producing enough heat. So they weren't de-icing the snow and ice that was building up in front of my headlights. So I went ahead and swapped out my low beams back to halogens. And then when summer comes, we'll go ahead and swap them back <coughs> to um, LED. So that's the low beam. We'll go ahead and flip on the high beam. High beam still has LED bulbs. So this is what high beam looks like. Looks really good. So low beam with the co-lights. Boom, very nice. And then we'll go ahead and flip on, 
<coughs> the high beam, see if it makes any difference. It makes a little difference. You can't see much, but it did light up the side. You can see right there. So it went ahead and light up the side a little bit more, which is nice. I like that. And then I have my ditch light. My ditch light, I have my ambers on right now, but they don't really make a difference. You can barely tell. Oh, that's that's the rock light that I'm controlling. So that's the ditch light right there. The ditch light is mostly just for like, you know, uh, blazing through the dust, fog, and stuff like that. Sometimes I do take the covers off and then point them directly to the side so that I can see like towards, let's say, the fence over here. But that's the embers. That's the rigids right there. It came with the truck when I bought it. So we'll go ahead and turn off. <coughs> uh, high beams off. Low beams off. And then we have just the co lights. So back to zero darkness. So looks good. I think I think I'll approve this. I'll go ahead and approve this lights. They look good. They feel great. They're durable. They feel amazing. Um, they're bright enough. They're easy to install. Like I said, I did a simple, easy install. These are, they do have DRLs, but again, I didn't want to install the DRLs, so I just left them out. But so far, looks good. I went ahead and wired them up with my um, six gang aux beam switch panel. So it runs really good, less clutter in the wire, or less wire in the engine bay, very um, simple and easy to install. So definitely gonna approve this. Uh, approve this. I'll go ahead and link um, a, I'll go ahead and put a product link of this light in the video description along with the aux beam. Um, switch panel that I just installed if you guys like it you guys can check it out and I'll keep you guys posted maybe in the next six months when summer come and we'll see how long they still um, how they hold up still